work out, work out. She work. in the mirror trying to work out, uh. like work out. La, 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 la. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is time for another Fit Friday vlog. Hope you guys have been having a great week. Today is Sunday, <laughs> so it's actually a ways off from Friday. But when you're watching this, it's Fit Friday. Hold on, why am I so orange? So that's a little better, but I actually just finished meal prepping. One of the meals that I made, um, I posted in a Shay's Greedy Kitchen episode that I posted on Monday. So go check it out if you haven't already. And then I just made a couple more basic meals. I actually can show you guys um, two of them right now. Basically, um, just a turkey burger, rice, and some green beans. Very basic, very simple. The next meal is pretty much the same, but it's just a turkey burger patty, rice, and some mixed veggies. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. But y'all, I have been so irritated today, like so irritable, so just like snappy. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's because I started my period. So you guys already know um, the last time I started my period, how that week went, and I'm determined not to have another week like that. The second day, I told y'all, is usually the worst day, <clears throat> which is tomorrow. The second day for me is tomorrow, and that's supposed to be leg day. So, I am just going to try to push through and make it happen. Just try to not even think about it because y'all, it's almost funny how irritable I've been, but I'm glad I got the meals out the way. That way that's one less thing I don't have to worry about um, throughout the week because those should last us pretty much all week. But finished meal prepping, got the kitchen back clean. Y'all, this kitchen was atrocious from all the meals that I was making. I'm just about to go ahead and edit the video for tomorrow, which is the Shay's Greedy Kitchen. And also one more thing, y'all let me know down below. Do you prefer a longer vlog or do you prefer shorter vlogs? Let me know because I wanna make sure that y'all are actually still engage in watching the vlogs. If um, y'all prefer longer videos or shorter ones, let me know, it will help me out. Y'all know I love getting feedback from y'all cause I'm just curious. I he hear some people saying like, they don't need a long vlog, but then most people that I see want long vlogs. So just let me know, that would be greatly beneficial. Um, but for right now, I am just about to get off here, go edit tomorrow's video and i will come back a little later because i'm already going through y'all y'all i tried i <laughs> i really did try y'all but it just was not working out it just was not working out like y'all the second day is a beast okay so yesterday i didn't make it to the gym today's tuesday i am up planning my leg workout right now that's what i'm doing Y'all, I really tried though. Like, it just was not working out. It just, <laughs> it just wasn't. This time, it was just, it was a flop, okay? But I'm going to the gym today. Today, I'm doing legs. I am just going through my past Fit Fridays as well as looking at my past workouts and seeing what I've done and just trying to incorporate different workouts now. I have a hard time picking like what I want for my pre-workout meal because I'm like indecisive a little bit and then I'm like, I don't want anything too heavy but then I don't want anything too light because I want to make sure my body has enough energy. So I just wish there was a way for me to be able to look inside my body and physically see like what it needed when I put stuff in my body, where it's going, how it reacts to it. You know, I just want to see the inner makings, the behind the scenes of me. But hey, guess that's why we gotta let the Holy Spirit lead us, right? All right. I feel like there's something else I need to tell y'all though. Also y'all, for the uh, Cook With Me, the Shay's Greedy Kitchen episode that, was, that I posted on Monday, I made those zucchini uh, boats and y'all, I've been loving those. I'm actually happy that I tried that because that might be one of my new like go-tos. Definitely try it out um, because it's good.
so here's my post-workout meal. I'm just eating one of those zucchini boats that I had made um, in the Shay's Greedy Kitchen episode from this week, which is so good, y'all. Like, I love this. This is probably one of my new favorite meals. And I just added more of the diced tomatoes on there and some sour cream. I love sour cream. So yeah, I kind of went OD with the sour cream, but this is gonna work. A little ketchup on the side with the sweet potato wedges. Um, and then also, I am just having a shake. And this is going to be my lunch, a pretty big lunch, but I'm probably not gonna eat for another uh, like few hours or so, so yeah. This is dinner. The only thing I did differently was just add some egg in there. And then I just added some A1 sauce onto the turkey burger patty. Good morning, y'all. What is up? I just finished making me some breakfast, a little pre-workout. I'm just having some peanut butter toast with a little bit of orange juice. Literally, this is like a cup of orange juice that I just put in this like little glass. Um, so I like to do, I do like to have orange juice in the morning. I don't know, it's just one of my things. Um, yeah, I've been really into orange juice lately. I love peanut butter toast, y'all, right? Peanut butter and cinnamon, mm. it's so good. But getting ready to head to the gym today is going to be chest and arms i feel like i'm going to do a little bit of back in there as well because honestly they kind of all work in combination with each other i feel like so i just feel like every time i do arms i end up doing back i don't know oh lord she won't be more i think i'm oh lord i think i love her and talk to you guys really quick because y'all know these past few weeks I have been lacking motivation my motivation has not been there to go to the gym to work out to eat right just that desire and that like crave that I had at the beginning of my journey or not in the beginning because I didn't have a crave to go to the gym at the beginning of my journey but as I started getting into it and seeing results just that desire and that like craving to go to the gym has not been there y'all like it has not I'm not gonna hold y'all up it has not been there I have not been been motivated I know this right this what I'm feeling is a normal feeling we're not going to be motivated all the time. We're not going to have the motivation all the time to work out or whatever the case it may be that's non-fitness related. When we know we need to do certain things, we're not going to have the motivation to do it, right? Okay, so what I've been thinking and trying to figure out is what is going to keep me going to the gym and staying consistent, staying on the right path when I'm not motivated. Because the pattern that I've been seeing with myself is that when I lack motivation, 
I don't go to the gym. When I lack motivation, I fall off and I start eating, you know, more cheap meals than I'm supposed to. When I'm unmotivated, I just slack off and I'm just like going through the motions at the gym and not really pushing myself. And it's just been a reoccurring thought to me that that's why it's so important when you're on your fitness journey to not necessarily try to get the easiest way out um, to get to do the do the diet or the process that's going to get you necessarily the quickest results in the shortest amount of time it, unless that's just what you want to do and you got something coming up and you just want to do that but if you really want to make a, you know fitness a part of your lifestyle and eating better a part of your routine and just really adopt this lifestyle just an overall healthier lifestyle then it, it's important for you to really build up your discipline 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 is the answer and i know it's probably like girl obviously we need discipline but no you really have to think about it because you only build discipline as you push yourself to th do things that you don't want to do when you know you should do them anyway do you know what i'm saying and for me my discipline has not been there so having discipline and forcing yourself to do the things you don't want to do when your motivation is not there is really what's the key to my problem. Because I've noticed that I've had this ongoing pattern of when I'm motivated, I'm on it. I'm going to the gym. I'm working now. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm, I'm eating better. I'm not, you know, indulging more and I'm not eating as many cheat meals. But when that motivation is not there, which is not going to be there all the time, when that motivation is not there, I slack off. I start eating more cheat meals here and there. I go to the gym, but I'm not pushing myself as hard as I know I should be. I'm, you know, kind of going through the emotion. But when you have that discipline, which only comes from over time and building up that muscle, so to speak, your discipline is really what balances your lack of motivation out. And what I mean is that it's kind of like a scale, you know? Um, a balancing scale so when your motivation is up here you don't really need your discipline like that because you're motivated you don't need anybody to get you hyped for the gym you don't need anybody to you know tell you um anything to encourage you because you're motivating your dang self you know you don't need motivation or you don't need discipline because when you're motivated you do what you need to do right but when that motivation starts to lower and you know, it starts to creep down. Your discipline is really what is going to balance everything out. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need your discipline more so than anything. And your discipline is what's going to keep you going to the gym, keep you consistent when you don't want to continue. When you don't have that discipline, you don't have anything to keep you going it's just when you're motivated you go when you're unmotivated you don't go the key part is having that discipline having something over here to balance everything out to where when one lacks the other you know compensates for it and for me that's that's discipline and it's starting to click for me that i gotta build up my discipline muscle i do so the only way you build up your discipline muscle is you do the things you don't want to do because you know you need to do them and i haven't been doing that you know i've been letting my motivation or my lack of motivation decide when i go to the gym how i keep going and all that stuff no i gotta have a balance and for me that balance is my discipline but yeah hopefully that makes sense i'm getting ready to go to the gym today is glutes and quads today is glutes and quads um so yeah let's go i'll bring you guys along with me of course yeah uh let's go
fast. I'm about to have my post workout meal and I am going to be eating one of the meals that I had made on Sunday which is this turkey burger patty some rice and some green beans as well as a shake my post workout meal is like my biggest meal of the day because I know I'm not gonna eat for a couple hours because I this is like about the time I get ready to start going to work um so yeah and i can't really eat like that at work like i can snack a little bit but i can't really eat like that you know so i typically try to have a big like kind of fulfilling post-workout meal so yeah y'all this is going to be my lunch and yeah so i'm getting ready to close out the vlog but i wanted to say one thing that i noticed this week is that i didn't do any apps whatsoever well i did a few apps did i do apps i did like apps for like 10 minutes total throughout the whole week like specific app exercises and y'all know that is so not like me because in the past i used to do a lot of apps um but i kind of strayed away from that without even realizing it i've been more focused on like my weightlifting and strength training um so next week i'm definitely getting back to doing abs as well as this week i didn't really do any cardio um i mostly did weightlifting and honestly by the time by the end of my workout I was too tired and I just didn't do my cardio which cannot happen which is exactly why I said next week the word of the week is going to be discipline doing the things that you don't want to do because you know you need to do them y'all know I've been writing down pretty much how much I've been lifting um, every week for like two weeks now two no like three weeks now this week was a week for me to increase my weight so I did increase my weight on all of my leg exercises by five to ten pounds mostly ten pounds um so I'll be sticking with this weight now that I have for two weeks and then I'll be increasing it and if I feel like I need to increase it before the two weeks and that's what I'll do. But documenting how much I've been lifting and all of that has been such a big help y'all so I can look back to see my progress, see like, you know, what different exercise I did on this day and all that. Like I love that I started incorporating that because it's just so much easier and I feel like I'm really going to be able to track my weights, um, you know, and really make sure that I'm really improving and pushing myself. So if you do not track your um, weightlifting, like how much you lift and all that stuff, definitely get you a little journal and start doing so, so you can keep track. But yeah, next week, we gotta get back to this cardio because even though I'm on a weightlifting journey, I still do want to lean out a little bit more and chisel this waistline a lot more. <laughs> Um, so yeah, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget, you guys, I did start a fitness Instagram page. I have not posted on in there yet. I will start posting on there next week. So if you have not followed me already on there, the my name is at Shea Curry Fit. Definitely go follow me because that's pretty much where I'm just going to be posting my exercises and workouts, just like strictly in my food and stuff. Um, and then my regular Instagram page will just be like me, my life all that stuff so the fitness instagram page will strictly be like short workout videos and things like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next video bye y'all